how would you like to time travel to the past and take the most awesome selfies at historical events? Well, you can. And someone is. Kinda. Let's ramble about it. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. Oh, hey, it's in one spot now. Artificial intelligence has really started to gain some ground in terms of art and imagery. See this video for more information about that. Well, now, there is an individual who is using generative AI, artificial intelligence, to create a fictional character who is time traveling to the past and taking selfies of himself. Sound interesting? Well, let's take a look. There is a man who is simulating time travel thanks to image synthesis by Stable Diffusion. And this fellow is, t is doing this fictional travelogue that shows him taking selfies of himself in places like ancient Greece and Egypt and a lot more. Since uh, December of 2022, a social media user known as Stealthy, the time traveler, has been crafting a time hopping travelogue using generative AI thanks to stable diffusion and some fine tuning. An anonymous artist has created a fictional photorealistic character that he can insert into historical photographs set in different eras, such as ancient Greece or even the time of the dinosaurs. We'll show you uh, some of the stuff that he's done. So what is Stable Diffusion? Well, it's a deep learning image synthesis model that allows people to create fictional scenes using text descriptions called prompts. With an additional technique called Dream Booth, people can insert their own subject or character into scenes generated by Stable Diffusion. It can also be used to insert real people into fictional situations. This uh, artist has identified himself as the funny old man. <laughs> he de detailed some of the process that he uses to create the images in several different Reddit comments. He uses a combination of Stable Diffusion version 1.5, uh, a custom AI model for the landscape, and a custom AI model trained on the stealthy face, which is apparently a fictional person that was created using a program called Character Creator. He uses a lot of in-painting, which means inserting AI-generated imagery into the images in order to fix errors and help sculpt the scene. And each image takes three hours uh, to create. So far, Stealthy has visited Leonardo da Vinci in 1507 during the painting of the Mona Lisa. He has survived a T-Rex encounter during the prehistoric times. He traveled to 1492 and set sail with Christopher Columbus and may have given him some pointers as far as which direction he should have gone. He has gone back to see the Great Pyramids being built. He fought in a battle in the year 1266 in England. He colonized Mars in 2022, so Elon Musk didn't have to. He went back to the Old West, and he went back to the ancient city of Troy to see Ulysses and the Trojan Horse. Now let's talk a little bit about this stable diffusion uh, program. It's been getting pretty sophisticated where people are saying that you may not believe some of the stuff that you see online ever again. Just because someone takes a picture of it doesn't mean that it's real. I mean, this has gone way past the days of just Photoshop, you know, Photoshopping an image. Now it's getting even more sophisticated as far as what this AI technology can actually do. It allows anyone with a PC and a decent uh, graphic processor unit to conjure up almost any visual reality that they can imagine. It can imitate virtually any visual style, and if you feed it a descriptive phrase, the results appear on your screen like magic. 
and there are some artists out there that find this exciting others aren't really happy about it and society at large still just doesn't seem aware of this rapidly evolving technology that's happening on august 22nd stability ai released its open source image generation model and it also launched its own commercial website called dream studio that sells access to computer time for generating images with stable diffusion during the week that this article was written there's been dozens of projects that have been uh, done with this uh, stable diffusion and people have been using uh, ms dos artwork and upgraded it uh to <laughs> to uh, AI uh, imagery. So like what you can see in this uh, photograph here, we've got Duke Nukem, we've got The Secret of Monkey Island, we got King's Quest VI, and also the game Star Control 2. Which, hey, should, should the killer gamer do any of these games? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Not only that, but people have used it to convert Minecraft graphics into realistic ones. They transformed the scene from Aladdin, the movie Aladdin, into 3D. They translated childlike scribbles into rich illustrations, and there's just so much more that people have done with this technology. And you too can also do this. You can run Stable Diffusion locally on your own computer. There's a lot of uh, steps that are required to do it. According to the author of this article, they said that they've been running this on their own uh, Windows PC with an NVIDIA RTX 3060 12 gigabyte GPU. They're able to generate a 512 by 512 image in about 10 seconds. Hey, that's not bad at all. So what do you think about Stealthy, the AI time traveler? Have you seen anyone use this technology in this uh, new way? Do you think we here at the Killer Studios should put this technology to the test? Get out and look for some other sucker! <laughs> what are you looking at me for? Let me know in the comments below. On your way down, be sure to click that like button. If you miss it or forget, you can always time travel back to the past and give it a click. You could also time travel your way to the subscribe button and become a part of our Killer community. Because, hey, it's a historical moment. Be sure to get a selfie and have a killer awesome day.